In the first step, we just need to add ladder block and shade preferences to the our dependencies in the pop spec file. Great. We will use shade preferences to store the theme selected by the user so that the theme is not lost when the user enters the app again. Great. For download the dependencies, we just need to press this download icon here. Like this. Great. Let's continue. In the next step, I'm going to create block and event files. Usually, we should have another file called state, but in this project, we will return theme data instead of state. You will understand more later. Now, I'm going to create another file called theme switcher underscore block dot dart and another file called theme switcher underscore event dot dart. Great. I want to start with this event file. As I said in the previous project, and as you know, we have to create an abstract class for our event or for our, for example, state classes, because all the event uh, classes must be of the same type. So we have to create an abstract class, then the rest of the classes can inherit from that class. So I'm going to create an abstract class, for example, called theme switcher event. Now we can create the rest of the classes. The first class can call set initial theme and then we can use extends keyword uh, for inherit from this theme switcher event class. So I'm going to create first class and call uh, set initial theme and then by using extends keyword we can inherit from this theme switcher event. And the second class can call them. For example, um, what can I say? For example, switch theme and extends from this theme switcher event class. Great. Uh, we are done here, and now we can go to the theme switcher block file okay now in this file we are going to create our block so first of all we have to define a class for example theme switcher block and then we have to extend block class using flutter block library like this block and import flutter block library and now here we have to pass two generic types and one of them is event and second one is state already we have a defined event class and as i said for state we are going to return theme data so here i'm going to pass theme switcher event and in a state as i said we have to return theme data and we don't need to create a state class for our block anymore okay before to starting implement theme switcher block functions i want to start to implement shared preferences methods as you know, we are going to use shape references to store and fetch theme selected by the user. So, we will have two methods. One of them is going to fetch theme selected by the user and one of them is going to store theme selected. Let's continue. Here, first I am going to define a feature method that returns boolean and with help of this method we are going to detect the theme selected by the user is dark or light so i'm going to define this method called is dark and obviously this method should be async great and inside this method first of all we have to define an instance of shared preferences shared preferences await 
get references dot get instance okay to fix this error we have to return a boolean here we can use shared preferences dot get boolean method and here we have to pass a key i'm going to call this key for example is dark okay here we have another error as you know value of type this method is null safety so we have to check if is dark will be null just return false great okay let's continue and create the second method in the second method we are going to set value for the is dark so i'm going to create a method a feature method called for example set theme This method should take a boolean, then we have to set that boolean value for the is dark. So this method should take a boolean called, for example, is dark. And as you know, this method should be async. And here, first of all, we have to define an instance of shared preferences like this. Now, here we can use shared preferences.set boolean and here we have to pass a key and obviously this key should be is dark and value should be this boolean here great guys creating shared preferences functions is done and now we can move on to the theme switcher block class as you know in the first step we have to register event handler using on event api because a block requires us to register event handler to do this first of all we have to create constructor for the our class so as you know we can do it like this theme switcher block super great in the super, we have to set our initial state. We can set theme data dot light. This means that our uh, block initial state will be light theme. Now here, we can register our event handler using on event. So now here we have to pass our event class name so i'm going to copy this one then paste it here like this this method returns event and emit until here we have registered event handler to manage all the set initial theme events and we can use emit to change the state of the theme switcher block and uh, state of the application Set initial theme will call when the app is start and user opens the app. So we have to check if theme is dark, emit the uh, dark theme, and when the uh, theme is light, emit the light theme. So here we can use is dark function and get the last value of the is dark key. So here I'm going to define a boolean. Of, for example, has theme dark await is dark, and as you know, this method should be async here. Great. Now here we can use check like this. Add theme dark is true. Emit the theme data dark otherwise theme data dot light great okay we are done with set initial theme event and now we can move on to register event handler for the theme switching event so i'm going to copy this one then paste here and change set initial theme to the uh, theme switching like this and delete this codes here 
Okay, go ahead and complete theme switching event handler. Uh, first of all, let me explain something. This event will call when the user wants to change the current uh, theme to the light or dark. It means when the uh, current theme is dark, user wants to change it to the uh, light theme and otherwise uh, if the current theme is light, user wants to change it to the dark theme. So I'm going to define a boolean called the has theme dark. With the help of this boolean, we can detect the current state of the application is dark or light. To detect, we can use state equal theme data is dark. This means that the, if the current state of the application is dark, the value of the has theme dark will be true and otherwise will be false. Okay, now we can use has theme dark value and emit the new state. Uh, so emit if has theme dark value is true this means that user wants to change the uh, theme from dark to light so here we have to set light and otherwise user wants to change from light to dark theme data dot dark great and in the last step we have to update is dark value in shared preferences so we can use set theme function and update the is dark value in shared preferences so i'm going to call uh, set theme function and here we have to pass a boolean so we can pass as theme dark but pay attention we have to invert value of the has theme dark because if the has theme dark value is true this means that the current state of the application is dark and user wants to change it to the light so we have to invert this value like this great guys here done and our block class is complete and now we can move to the presentation and use theme switcher block as you know first of all we have to inject the theme switcher block uh, in the app and to do this we can use block provider and inject the theme switcher block because we want to use block globally so that the best place is to inject the our block is here. So we have to wrap my app inside block provider like this. And as you know, block provider has a required parameter called create. And in create, we can inject our block like this by creating an instance of the theme switcher block class and as i said uh, we have to call set initial theme when the app is a start and user opens up so we can add our event and call set initial theme like this great okay in the next step uh, we have to update our theme inside material app to update our widget we have to use block builder and as you know block builders uh, handles building widget in response to new state so i'm going to wrap material app inside block builder Okay, and as you know, block builder has a required parameter called uh, builder. And here we have to return a widget. And obviously our widget is this material app. 
return material app and instead this theme data we have to pass block current state and finally in the last step we have to update value of the this switch button here and also call the theme switching event inside on change of the this switch button here so i'm going to the home page and here uh, to update value of the this switch button here we have to wrap the this widget inside block builder like the previous step so i'm going to wrap this widget inside block builder Eight and this method as you know uh, is required great okay and now in value instead of set true we have to check if current state of the application it means that the current theme of the application uh, is theme data dot dark or not if current state of the application is dark this means that the value of the switch button will be true and otherwise will be false so if I restart the app, we will see something like this. And as you can see, now the our switch button is disabled. And finally, in the last step, we have to call theme switching event inside unchanged method and change the current theme of the application by enabling or disabling of the the switch button here to call our event we can use block provider dot of extension or we can use context dot read and pass the our block class uh, our block class name is theme switcher block and call by using add method and here we have to pass uh, an instance of our event and obviously our event is theme switching and now i'm going to enable this button here and as you can see the theme is changed from light to dark and this means that the hour block is working well and there is no problem and if i want to disable this button here we will see that the theme will change from dark to light and as you can see this works perfect and there is no problem all right guys i think we have reached end of this project and see you soon in next project so please stay with me